So I picked up this glass cabinet from Princess Auto a couple of years ago. I've only recently been able to use it at full strength because I had an air compressor that was way too small. But now that I've gone ahead and upgraded the air compressor, I find myself using this a lot more. When I was only using it for taking machine marks out of aluminum that I just uh, machined on the mill or the lathe, it worked just fine. But I've started cleaning up rusty parts. And when you do that, the crushed glass inside pulverizes the rust into a fine flour. And notwithstanding me caulking up all the seams and generally sealing it up, that flour has been escaping through some of the holes in the side around the glass where you can see that tape is. And that kicks up a fine dust inside the shop and, and that's no good. I can't have dust in here. So we want to get rid of that dust and that means making use of a feature in the cabinet that I haven't used up until this point. So there's this fitting on the side of the cabinet that's designed to fit an exhaust hose. This cap comes off. A hose from your trusty shop vac just clicks inside and now you can apply negative pressure to the blast cabinet so it'll suck out the dust that accrues inside of it while you're blasting without taking away your media. That's fine except that the dust is so abrasive that it'll very quickly wear out the motor inside your shop vac. So what we have to do is put some sort of particulate trap in between this connection and the vacuum so that when we run the, the vacuum and suck the dust out it doesn't ruin our motor. So what we're going to do is convert this unassuming Home Depot shop bucket into a particulate water trap. This needs to fit into the hose adapter. It's a little too thick as it sits, so we're going to turn it down on the lathe. There, that fits. Well, my high school shop teacher always said there was nothing that couldn't be improved by the application of little cock. So there's the inlet side assembled. The two pipe bushings are screwed into each other, capturing the lid with a little layer of silicone in between them to make it airtight. And you can see the hose adapter fits on over top of it. So here we have the extension tube that fits in the uh, inlet. This just makes sure that our air column makes it all the way down to the bottom where the water trap is. ABS plastics, we use some ABS cement. ABS cement to put it in. You just put a thin bead around the outside like that. Insert and twist. And that locks it solid. So here's the intake side all done. Extension pipe and the hose adapter. And that just fits on top like that. And that's the side air we drawn into. And all the particles that are in there will be directed by that pipe down into the water that we're going to put on the bottom of the bucket. Because the air, the particles have inertia, they will crash into the water, the water will grab them, the rest of the air will go out the outside. So this here is the suction side of the hose. This is the, the hose coming out of the shop vac. And we've got a problem, because the outer diameter of this is designed to fit inside a female socket. And the pipe that we need to mate it up with is almost exactly the same size. Which makes you think that the female side should fit perfectly, but it doesn't. It rattles around. So what we either have to do is take a male side and turn it down to fit inside the hose here, or we take a, a spacer and cut it down so that we can fit that over top. Preferentially, I like to have it fit on the outside because that's how the uh, interface for these things is designed. Inside the hose here is full of crud and trying to get something in it is gonna be a little bit tougher. So what we're gonna try and do is turn down a pipe to fit over this diameter and fit it into this female bushing here. <laughs> So there's our pipe bushing all bored out. That fits over the end of the hose, just like that. 
and it's tight enough so it's a good slip fit, but not so tight that we're, ever, we're never going to get it off again. So here we have our female thread, female pipe interface. Here's our pipe bushing. A little cement around the outside. Push it in, give it a twist. There. So this is the bushing from the other side of the lid, a male thread, female socket. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this street elbow in there like that uh, just to deflect the air so we're not sucking directly at the water and also to give us a little bit of a handle on this to help tighten it up when it's time to go in there. So I'm just going to mount this in the vise. Quick ring of glue around the outside. Push, twist. Now that's locked in. Time for a little more cock. So here we are, all done. Hose to blast cabinet, male pipe to female thread pipe bushing, layer of silicone, lid, underneath, male thread to female pipe bushing, female extension pipe, on this side, pipe bored out to fit the outer diameter of the hose to the shop vac, female pipe to female thread pipe bushing, male thread to female pipe bushing, and a 90 degree street elbow. So what we're doing now is add a layer of water to the bottom of the bucket that acts as our particulate trap. We want to have it just below the outlet from the extension pipe. As it gets any higher, it turns it from a particulate trap into a bong. Shop vac, particulate filter, blast cabinet. And here's what happens when it runs. So you can see there's plenty of suction on that now. Note that during actual operation though, there's a vent cap on the back that you uncork that allows air to flow through the thing rather than just sucking on it like you see here. So I cleaned off a rusty brake rotor in the bead blaster, and this is what the particle trap caught. You can see all that rust and scunge in there that was atomized into dust has now been drawn out by our shop vac and has been captured by the water. So that's dust that's not going into the shop and it's dust that's not going into the shop vac and screwing up our motor. So it works. Mission accomplished. Thanks for watching. Stop it, please. Stop it, please.